most let me let me repeat that yes sir in pipeline what matters most hmm. software or the final output i mean he's asking in short that it, like whatever output you get or the project you work on uh, should it be software oriented or not yeah definitely i think like if you're going into a pipeline like there is a final output you have to keep in in your mind like this is your final output the whole team is working to achieve that final output so pipeline is meant to achieve that goal so the final output definitely matters and you have to find like in between if you are working in a personal project then definitely a pipeline is not there like you can use as many softwares as you want because if i'm working on my personal project then i'm using so many amounts of like softwares i use maya cinema 4d substance painter quicksell so many softwares i use so there is not a pipeline this just you need to get a final output you need to have like it it should like look really nice really eye catching but if you are working in a studio let's say like prime focus or like double negative then they'll they have specific a specific amount of work which will be assigned to you so there will be a pipeline so you have to follow the pipeline to achieve that goal you have to follow if you are a modeler then you have to do some modeling stuff like which will be in your modeling you you can't skip and you go into some other departments definitely you, you are a modeler so you have to do that specific job so yeah in that case like in big studios you have to follow that pipeline to achieve your final goal if you are working in a personal project i don't think your pipeline is required yes sir uh yeah so ba- basically i'm sure you were just uh, trying to understand uh in these terms where you see nowadays uh, because of a uh, lot of hype about variety of softwares including mm. blender you know yeah. it is open source and yeah. uh, it is available for everyone free to use mm. uh but when you see now let's say you're talking about you were you were talking about motion graphics right mm. uh so it may include variety of things i mean motion graphic uh, like it, it it is a whole package you know it including vfx yeah so many times people do get confused and i have seen a lot of people cannot make up their mind like should i use maya should i use cinema 4d or should i use blender mm-hmm. to get that work done mm-hmm. so i believe it totally depends on what type of project you are working on and it it does like pipeline may i believe software does matter but it depends yeah. what type of pipeline you are talking about yeah so yeah but you should not rely on tool entirely it should be uh, i believe uh, kept uh, in a way where do you require it to get particular type of output like for cinema 4d we can say uh, if you want to do more of works you for it works best in many cases but okay. then blender and houdini even has these things which they have integrated in past 2 3 years i believe yeah. and uh, houdini has kind of become pretty good recently recent 